Let's, let's, let's start this thing. Let's start this thing. Oh, yeah. This is the one I'm talking about. So, I was randomly perusing Instagram the other day. And I stumbled upon this guy's account who's called um, Hella CD Bay, right? Pretty awesome dude. His name on Instagram is Hella Good Nine, and he's a you know a basically a motivational runner type dude, always running with his top off, smiling, running down the street really fast, really slow, showing you how it is, the pain in his feet, and da da da. Just using running as a conduit for inspiration and motivation. Recently, he decided to do some nutty challenge where he ran from LA to New York for some reason. Not sure what it was. Maybe raise awareness for a charity, whatever it may be. Crazy endeavor. You know, major props to him. Documented the entire thing. Sponsored by Gymshock. All that good stuff. He does it and it's a really good thing, right? It's amazing. You see it visually like, Jesus Christ, man. Look at him. He's amazing. He's really, he's a really kind of bulky, you know, looking African dude. And then suddenly throughout the process of running that much over year, day in, day out, he becomes really, really gaunt. You're like, oh, wow. Look how much his body has transformed. That muscle mass has before. He's kind of lost it. The perseverance. You see him like really dejected in different places and, you know, then kind of, you know, deciding to knuckle down and make something of himself. Whatever. Just amazing, right? So he posts this, I think, image. I've got, I think I've gotten here on my um, on the thing. He posts this image of himself running over the cross line. This is his page. You can check him out if you want to. He posts this image, and for some reason, these comments really annoyed me. Really, really annoyed me. So this is a picture of him crossing over the finishing line in New York, right? Looking all happy, jumping in the air, you know, celebrating, right? Boom, boom, boom. Really happy, crying there. And then you scroll down and here's me saying, you know, amazing man, congratulations. And then look, this, this for some reason really annoyed me, this comment here. Yeah. So freaking proud, Hella. What an inspiration for so many. It was my pleasure to interview you. Hopefully run together soon. Some random white lady, right? Food, what's the name? Food Fitness Flora. It doesn't really matter if she's white, but I like saying it because people, on, for some reason, people on Twitter love saying white lady and they like they like spelling it w no they're just spelling it yt i don't know why that's a thing now it's like a for some for, for the most part twitter is a very um black dominant platform in it maybe second only to like liberal twitter which is kind of mixed and then tech startup twitter but for the most part twitter is kind of the real trends that get carried on twitter are mostly carried by black twitter for the most part the humor the viral stuff is mostly on there. And then, of course, gay Twitter too. All the fans of like the Real Housewives stuff and um, Drag Race, all that kind of stuff. They're quite in the know too. But I would kind of put them in a black category as well because there's a lot of really funny sort of like personalities on there. But anyway, regardless, this white lady put a comment underneath this guy, you know, I don't know. What's the distance between LA and New York? Like hundreds of miles, I'm assuming, right? Maybe in the thousands. It's a long distance to go from one side of America to the other side. And she's saying she's so freaking proud. What did you do? What did you do in that challenge, right? And she says in the text below, um, it was my what my pleasure to interview you. So some random woman, she's not even her his friend. They don't know each other prior to him being a runner and being a social media personality. She happened to interview him for one of her what dog shit you know podcasts or YouTube channels things. I don't know who gives a shit right. And then now she's proud as if she had some part to play in it. And it always annoys me. There's something about people that say stuff like that where they kind of oddly insert themselves into other people's accomplishments that just rubs me up the wrong way. Maybe because I'm somebody that kind of, you know, prides myself on having a lot of willpower and having a lot of drive and doing things the way that I want to do them on my own without anyone needing to tell me to do something and needing no real motivation to do it either, right? Sometimes, don't get me wrong, these pages do help in terms of, you know, you browse your phone in the morning and see this guy running down the street somewhere can help you, but you it's only you who's going to get you outside of your house and get you running outdoors, you know, in the middle of whatever I live at 6 a.m. in the morning, right? Panting and breathing. Only you can do that. So to see other people who have nothing to do with your amazing feet, and this feet is even way above anything that I've ever done in my entire life, right? He's running from one side of America to the other, and this lady is saying, I'm so proud of you, as if she has some part to play in it. And it's the same type of people who, if you notice, if you maybe it's just me, but I have these groups, I have these people that I've known over the years who, for some reason, only happen to have really cool friends, right? Cool, I mean, in quotation marks. All their friends work for magazines. All their friends are part of some trendy, you know, agency. All their friends have sponsorship from this brand. All their friends know this very, you know, well-known person in culture. All of their friends, they don't have any friend that's a normie. No friend that just works a regular job, has a family, and just keeps it moving. None. All their friends happen to be cool. 
Like, sod off. Like, you, you specifically picking your friends on the amount of followers they have, where they go and hang out, what guest list they're on, who they know. Absolute dog poo-poo. And this always happens, right? So I bet you any money, if I'm the guy, if I am if I take the inspiration from what flipping um, d um, Hella Good did, and I did my own sort of challenge, you'll see these same rats popping up in the comments like, I'm so proud of you. Proud? I don't know you, madam. I really don't. I gave you a couple of quotes for your crappy magazine. Doesn't mean you you can you can count yourself as being part of my challenge. You did nothing, right? Do you know what I mean I'm the doer? I did the thing. I don't know why it annoys me. It really, really does. Like I'm proud of you. Proud? What? What did you do? Like uh, I don't know. Man. Unless you played an active role in this, unless you were, you know drinking with him in a dive bar somewhere in the middle of massachusetts before he took this challenge on and he wasn't sure about doing it and you convinced him and you showed him something else that he could have you showed him inspiration from another video or you gave him a book that maybe allowed him to open up his mind in order to do the challenge cool but if you're just a stranger that just happened to be there along for the ride and now you're saying proud like jog on you're not involved in the challenge you didn't do the thing that he did like it's so annoying i find it so cringe i really really do these um, yeah, all my friends are cool. <laughs> Let's grow up. You're an adult. Who cares? Who cares if your friends are cool? I've never liked that. I've I'd never ever liked that. I, I want to just be, I just want to be a a fan in my own regards, and I also just want to be a doer in my own regard, right? So it, when that time finally comes, where people start, you know, went to bread and jump on a wagon, I'll be like, nah, brother, I'm doing my own thing. You don't need to jump on a wagon. You just stay on that side. But I'm also not trying to beg on you. Like, for instance. If it was fashion week or something that I went to go to, I'd much rather just like cold email the emails that are available on a fashion week calendar and see which shows I can get into and be happy with that and just go home as opposed to like trying to pally, pally up with somebody that I might have known in passing in 2011 and then try and rekindle their age and say, hi, how are you? Can I get on this? No, 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 no. I'll just do it on my own. I don't need any cosigns. I don't need any bring-ins. Leave me alone. I'd rather buy my own thing without having somebody get me a discount. I want to go myself. If I can't get in via the random lottery email, I'm just not going to go. Do you know what I mean? I don't, I, I, I don't need some washed up, you know, creative to kind of be big timing me at the door and making me feel like I'm a donkey for asking for something that I'm interested in to be involved in. Like, I don't need that. Don't need that in my life. It's like, it's not necessary. We're all grown ups now. We don't, we don't care about, you know what I mean? Maybe when I was under the age of 21 and I thought being cool was actual currency, there's actually something to it that could give value to your life and could actually give you purpose and could actually give you, um, what's that thing called? Could actually make you content like, yeah, fair enough. But some of these guys I grew up with that thought they were cool, they are donkeys. Some of these girls I thought were cool when I grew up, a couple who I follow just because I want them to know that I'm still here, <laughs> right? Just some pure spite. I don't really even interact with their content. They are donkeys, absolute donkeys. And I'm, I'm happy to say they're donkeys. It's like, God damn it, man. You spent all that time trying to be cool and look at you. You're still a garbage human being, right? Do you know what I mean? No one really likes you. They just tolerate you because you happen to have the keys to a certain door that they may, might need or the number to a certain person's phone. That's it. Like, sod off. Sod off. But yeah, what do I know? Anyway? Maybe I'm in the in the minority there, but let me know if you if you kind of had the same feeling as I did. But I'm thinking, I was like, this guy did such an amazing achievement. People say I'm proud as if like they had a part to play in, as if they were... Shut up. Shut up.